Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Not for me, but for you. Um, I've been talking about bringing this segment back to my life, back to my filming life. Um, back in the day, I used to set up a camera in my car before school. I've told, I've told this story a million times. This is how I got started making these type of videos, making talking videos. Um, I actually had a little talk show in my car before school and high school and I used to just sit in my car and talk about random stuff. Um, and so a lot of people have been requesting Vicky Vibes for some reason, for whatever reason. I just don't like doing Vicky Vibes while I'm doing my makeup anymore. I would rather do like live chats and stuff on Instagram while I'm doing my makeup because I like to have somebody to talk to. Um, while I'm doing something, it keeps me focused. Um, but for whatever reason, filming me talking is a lot different than filming me, or no, filming me talking is a lot different than just talking. Um, talking live and having people interact with me. And I like having that on the screen, you know, having people interact and stuff. So it's not my, it's not my personal favorite. Vicky Vibes are not my personal favorite type of video. I started them where I was in a place where I wanted to just talk about my feelings, but now I'm kind of like more secluded in a way. I don't really like to go in depth into my feelings and my, um, my personal issues that I have going on um, in real life as much on camera anymore. I just, I don't know why I don't like doing that while I'm doing my makeup. I just, I don't know. I, I answer questions on Instagram Live, but it just seems weird to do it while I'm doing my makeup and nobody's responding. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little more cautious of the things that I say and how I say them. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But here we are <laughs> trying something that we used to do all the time. Hopefully my lighting in here is not bad. Um, but here we are trying something different. Um, on my channel anyway uh you know it's not different for me i've done this before back in the day back in the day, day when i was a lonely weird uh and interesting human being um but now i'm an adult and i somewhat have a grasp on life so i figured i'd bring this segment back this is going to be the vicky vibes this is going to be vicky vibes transition okay so i'm going to start doing the in this format instead of doing them doing my makeup so you guys let me know what you think about this um, and I will continue to do them if you are pleased with the results so first of all Vicky where are you going today today we're going to Chicago I'm going to brunch with a friend um, an internet friend her name is Ashley um, and uh, well her Instagram name is actually Ashley she also has a YouTube channel you guys should check her out she does natural hair videos um, and I started following her back when I still had my bob and I was looking for ways to wear my natural hair um, so I've been following her for a couple years I want to say like two years maybe a year two years um, and this is my first time meeting her in person, so we're going to hang out. We're going to go to Batters and Berries. I'm really excited because I love Batters and Berries. Even though I'm supposed to be eating healthy, I'm supposed to be on this health kick, uh, I'm gonna cheat today and get some Batters and Berries and then I'll do better for the rest of the week. Okay, anyways, besides the point. So I'm going to Chicago, so I thought I would go ahead and film something. I have a whole hour, so if I mess up, I can start over. Um, but this is gonna be real candid. We're just gonna talk about our thoughts. That's what we're gonna do. I'm, I don't have a specific game plan for this video. Hopefully whatever I talk about will come out in the way that it's supposed to. Um, but I, I, you guys say you just wanna chit chat for no reason. So here's a chit chat for no reason. And there's no distinct focus of this video. I'm just gonna talk and hopefully things come out that make sense. Like I said, if the, if the lighting in this video is strange or awry, it's because I am driving and the sun is out. It's nine o'clock in the morning. So obviously the sun isn't going to be positioned where I please. But listen, we do what we can. You do what you want when you pop in. Yeah, I've been pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I've been pretty good for the past couple months or so. I'll say I've been pretty good for the most part, but every now and then I get back into these these slumps, if you will. And I know part of the reason is because I am a hyper visible 25 year old adult who is constantly in front of lots and lots of people. Um, and I also know that it's partly due to just me being a woman, me growing older, me getting older, things is just tough. 
it's just rough out here in these streets okay let me just tell you nobody like i've said before in my adulting video and other videos it is hard being an adult it is hard coming to your own in your 20s 20s are just not what people say that it is it's not what all it's cracked up to be they say 20s is your years to be selfish to have fun to get everything out that you want to get no but let me tell you what the 20s is 20s is the time of confusion it is the rebirth of puberty it is <laughs> it is the distinct time where you are lost in the sauce and you're trying to find your way and trying to figure out who you are as an adult okay because like when you hit like 14 15 or no 13 when you hit like 12 13 is around the time most people hit puberty so we're all kind of struggling trying to figure out what the crap just happened to our bodies and who we are um i feel like this is puberty part two i feel like 20s is puberty part two this is the part of your life where you're redoing everything that you thought you knew is over you're starting over and you're becoming an adult now so it's like the caterpillar becomes the butterfly but that caterpillar process is tough okay on top of that you know when you're in your like adolescent years developing and becoming a person and, and all that it's not really as hard as being in your 20s because you don't have a job you don't have bills you don't have you know half of the problems that we have as adults as an adult we have so many more issues heaped up on top of the fact that our bodies are changing once again um well not really changing but like you're starting to learn how to take care of yourself by yourself how to you know maintain healthy uh, valuable relationships and now you're getting to the point where you want to settle down well some of us are some of us aren't but you know you're getting to this point where life is like starting to be a little bit more serious okay so you got a lot on your plate at this point like now you're trying to figure out what the heck you're gonna do with the rest of your life um, or at least if you have figured out what you want to do and now it's just getting through that process because it's one thing to know what you want to do with your life but it's another thing to actually execute it successfully and that takes time it takes time there's lots of things that take time as an adult okay and it just feels like you never have enough time in the day like when you're younger the days go by so slow and you want it to be the weekend and you want to like have fun and you want to like do fun stuff all the time but now it's like you have so much to do that it's just i just want to be able to get one thing done in the day like i just want to be able to fold the clothes in today like that's <laughs> that's what i want i want to be able to have enough time to go grocery shopping and cook dinner today like that's like that's just my goal for today like you know what i mean like everything you have like these specific goals that you have to reach and if you don't reach them which nine times out of ten i don't reach my goals every day so it's just really frustrating and that's the place i am in life right now i'm just really trying to gain this balance okay it's a lot of work and especially in my case being married and owning a home and having a dog and on top of that having this whole career brand thing that i work completely solely and 100 percent on my own with like i literally do everything myself um i do have a couple people that are kind of hands-on but honestly i do so much in my own brain like i process so much in the day that it is so hard for me to focus on other things like it really is like it really is like for me to get content up on a consistent basis it's already tough enough within itself so he on top of that putting a website and an instagram and a twitter trying to tweet and trying to snapchat and trying to instagram live and trying to instagram stories and trying to you know do all these things and go grocery shopping and cook dinner and make sure the house is clean it's just a lot to, ah, it's, a lot it's not easy being cheesy it's not easy being me and i understand that there are people who have it way worse there are people who you know don't really they don't have much they don't have a job they don't have a home they, you know i understand that and so i'm grateful for the things that i do have and i thank god for them every day but it's just like dude like that don't make it that don't make life easy all right just because you have the things that some people don't that doesn't make your struggle any easier it, it's still a struggle struggles are struggles or i don't want to ever feel like my struggles are not valid just because my struggle isn't as bad as somebody else's no honey we still struggle okay i still have the same issues i still get anxiety i still get fear i still have problems with depression sometimes i still have i mean there's lots of things that go into being a 25 year old female that just people don't really talk about people don't really open up about it until you have you have that problem and you try to talk to somebody about it and like oh yeah girl me too and i'm like well why did you yeah i mean 
you know, things are kind of tough every now and then. But like I said, I'm getting better. I've been working on my health. I've been working on my health. Um, currently, this is my life situation right here. I have to carry all of these supplements around and swallow these with every meal. Um, and I will do a whole other video discussing what I'm taking, why I'm taking it, what's going on with my body, why I've been um, doing this whole health journey. But really it's just to get to optimal health. I know that for me, my body has changed a lot since I moved because I moved from Texas to Chicago um, when I got married. And so my body has been going through all of these changes. It's been a little tough just because my eating habits are related to my mood and I'm not like a binge eater or anything. I'm more of the kind of person who, you know, if I don't have time, if I'm overwhelmed, if I don't feel good about myself, I don't really like, I don't eat right. Which, which you know, in some cases it means I don't eat at all or in some cases it just means that I'm not eating things that I should be eating. I'm eating what I wanna eat because I'm trying to make myself feel better. Um, but you know, in the past year or two, I've been really struggling with my eating habits and therefore I was having struggles with my weight and then I was having struggles with my hormones because of my weight. And so it just, you know, it kind of like catapulted into this whole other issue with dealing with depression and all this stuff like that. And it, a lot of it was related to my, what I was putting in my body, how I was taking care of myself um, and the stress that I was putting on my body on top of that. So. I'm gonna make a whole separate video about that whole story um, and my journey so far and what I've been doing to help that. I'll also be doing some grocery hauls and things like that just to kind of help you guys understand what I've been eating or at least trying to eat. Um, like my eating list, because I do have an eating diet plan. It's not a diet plan, but it's a, a lifestyle change. But it is a, t a specific diet that I'm on that I have to like eat off of the list of foods that I can eat. Um, so it's just a, a more wholesome approach to you know my life and I'm just trying to get things in order because I want to be healthy, I want to be, you know, 100%. Like, I mean, I know I can't be 100% all the time, but I'm at least going to try to be 100% physically, even if I'm not 100% mentally or spiritually. I got to be 100% somewhere. So getting to 100% with my health is helping with that. It's also helping me to change my mindset and change my... Um, change my attitude towards myself because when you take care of yourself you feel better about yourself for the most part um, It kind of helps you to get over some of the negative feelings that you have about yourself when you actually do care about how you How your body is functioning um, from the inside out not just how you look on the outside because that can literally be the death of you If that's all you focus on um, And because I work in an industry where you know, I'm completely focused on the outward um, like 90% of the time, it's kind of hard for me to to single like to to push that to the side and focus just on me because I have so many tasks and things that I have to attend to throughout the day that aren't necessarily directly related to me. You know, a lot of what I do with my life is focused on taking care of you know my house, taking care of my brand, making sure my brand. And a lot of times I don't separate my brand from my personal life because my brand is my personal life. My brand is literally me. I need gas, guys, sorry. My brand is literally my life. So sometimes it's kind of hard to make that distinction between, okay, not just taking care of things on the outside so that I have a good presentation for you all, but actually taking care of myself from the inside out so that I can even do the work that I have to do. You know what I'm saying? It's a tough, it's a tough battle. And that's why it's like, that's why I said like being my own boss and being my own brand and everything. It, it does affect me in a way to where I have to be very cautious of how I'm taking care of myself because I could forget myself sometimes. It's not like, cause you know, like when you're in the work field, like when you're a corporator or something, you can compare yourself to other people based on like your work, like what you do, like the work that you put out, your performance. But if your life is a performance, then you have, you're constantly comparing yourself in that way to other people just by just because you see them doing this and it's like okay well i want to do this i'm inspired by that i want to do this but it's like when all our paths are different and all of our lives are different and your job is based on your life and it, it's hard to focus it's hard to not kind of critique yourself in any way it's really hard to do that especially in this whole youtube social media world it's like it's really hard if you want brands to work with you you have to look and do a certain amount of Engagement you have to be a certain amount of engaged, you know, so it's like how can I model myself? It, it's 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 a lot 
I'm gonna pump my gas. Alrighty, I'm back. So, um, I don't remember what I was saying. Let's move on to something else, shall we? You know, I get these, I get into these slumps or whatever. Um, just because it's sometimes I get really down on myself. I'm really hard on myself, like I said in previous times before. I'm really hard on myself. And I'm trying not to be so hard on myself. Like, I have to tell myself every day, like, little baby, don't be so hard on yourself, little baby. It's okay. It's okay. Life is good. You know, you're doing great. You're right where you need to be right now. You know, even if you're not where you want to be or you, you're not where you feel like you should be, God has you where you are for a reason. He has you where you are. Even if it's tough, even if it's hard, he's trying to show you something. I feel like even if, even if I make a mistake and I get off track and I'm not on the path that God wants me to be on, in that time and in that moment where I'm not where I'm supposed to be, God is still going to show me where I'm supposed to be. Even in the midst of all of that craziness that I'm, that's happening around me. Like, you know, when you make a mistake, you go through hard situations and there are consequences to your actions and your mistakes and the things that you're not doing, you know, but those are always going to be lessons. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You know what I'm saying? So you have to look at it that way. Like, even though things are not where I want to be right now, I know that I'm learning. I know that I'm growing. I know that from this situation, everything is going to work out. I just have to keep going. That's the key. Keep going. And I have to keep telling myself, don't give up. Keep going. Stop being so hard on yourself. Yeah, it sucks. So what? Get over it. Like... You have to encourage yourself. You have to be able to encourage yourself. You have to be able to speak positive things to yourself, speak over your life. You have to speak positivity into your life. You're gonna have to be able to pull yourself out of situations. Like you can't fall into holes and ditches and keep digging, you know? And that's, so that's one of the problems a lot of us have is like, especially me, I, I like fall into a ditch and I'll grab a shovel, y'all. I will fall into a hole and I'm so dramatic. Like I'll fall over if I like, so much as cut myself like you know like if something is just so much is remotely difficult i just start freaking out because i know i have to handle it myself like it's when you li like when i was living with my parents i didn't have these problems because i literally didn't have to worry about anything they took, they took such good care of me like you know which is a blessing and i'm grateful however did not prepare me for life <laughs> and i talked to my mom about this kind of stuff I'm like mom like I, sometimes I wish you would have told me, you know, I'll be honest with my parents. I'm like, sometimes I wish y'all would have told me, like, you know, life is hard. Like, show me how to do things, you know, like, force me to make hard decisions earlier so that when I, now that I have to do those things, it'll have been a little easier. She's like, girl, nothing can prepare you for life. Either, whether you was, whether you was already doing it or not, life would have still been hard at this very moment for you because it's hard either way. And there's nothing I could have said or done to help you with that because you're different. Your life is different from mine. You're not me. So even if I told you everything that I did, you wouldn't do it the same way because your life is different. I'm like, that's so true. Like even, even people that you're really, really close to, you still can't compare yourself to them, you know? It's like you, you have one life, your life, and that's all you get and you have to work with what you got. That's just it. That's just it. It's that simple. And it sucks, but you know, I'm learning that all of the decisions that I'm making now, everything that I'm sacrificing now, all the sacrifices that I have to make, all the struggles that I go through now will only make my 30s and 40s so much more easier. That's not great, correct grammar, but what do you want? You know, like everybody keeps saying that their, their your 30s are so much more liberating because you figured, you kind of figured things out. Like you figured out who you are, you figured out what your struggles are, you figured out where your weaknesses are, you figured out like a lot of the things that you go through as a teenager and as a young adult, like you learn all these things then and then once you hit your 30s, you're so free because you don't have to deal with all that crap. You know what I mean? Unless you partied all of your 20s and now you gotta deal with all the adult stuff in your 30s. Which is why I say that this is not the time to be playing around, it's not time to be playing games. Your 20s is the time to establish things, to lay foundations, you know? And that's what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, stuff is, times are tough in your 20s. Like, you, you gain a lot of knowledge, but you lose a lot. You lose a lot. You lose a lot of your peace. You lose a lot of your friends. You lose a lot of your confidence in your 20s. Like, a lot of things you kind of lose in the process of figuring out life. But then once you hit your 30s, I heard, it turns all the way around. Like, you just, you stop, you don't care as much about some of the things you cared about in your 20s. So you can live more freely. 
that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited to be 30 for that reason. I'm already getting there though. Once I hit 25, I start giving no cares. Like, <laughs> I, I just stopped. Like now I like effortlessly, I, I'm effortlessly myself. And I don't feel, I don't feel like I have to, it's weird, in real life, I don't feel like I have to be so reserved with people and I can talk and I can be myself and I'm more open with people in real life. But on the internet, I'm way more reserved now. Like, I don't say as much, I try not to say as much, just because I know people on the internet are not gonna be forgiving because y'all don't know me, you know? And me being myself is cool and everything, but a lot of people are just here just to, to not like me. I don't know that. And so sometimes I'm just like, well, what's the point of me even exerting my energy towards negative people? You know what I'm saying? Um, and that doesn't stop me from doing the things that I love. But in a way, it kind of keeps me from being as open with my life. Because I know some things are just not for y'all. And that, that's not to say that I don't love y'all and I don't want to share things with you guys. Because I do want to share things with you guys. However, there's a line. There's a huge line that has to be drawn nowadays because people was just reckless and I ain't got time. You're not going to ruin my life via internet. That's not happening, you know? And there's there's been a point in time where I let people get into my brain and get into my space, you know? But my home has to be my home, you know what I mean? And I do a lot of work for my home. I do all of my filming from home. And if I don't feel comfortable being myself in my own home, boo, somebody get in the boot and it ain't gonna be me. I have to draw the line there because it's like if I'm not comfortable in my own home then what am I doing? Tangent, but necessary. All I can do All I can do is be myself, be hydrated, and mind my own business. And whatever does not concern Vicky Logan doesn't need to be concerning Vicky Logan. Why would you turn like that? What are you doing? And I hate semis. They make so much noise. Ah, I'm so loud. Ah, ah. You know, what keeps me going, a lot of people ask me what keeps me going, what keeps me motivated, you know, in the midst of all of the struggles that I talked about. What keeps me motivated is just knowing that God has a purpose for my life. And whatever I'm doing, you know, I'm on the right track. I just need to stay focused. It's like, this is not just for you. This is not just about you. My life is not about me. You do have to be able to some degree, you know, um, make sure that you're good with yourself and that you are reaching your goals and all this stuff like that but who are you reaching them for why are you reaching them because it can't just be about you life doesn't revolve around you because if life revolved around you and it was only about you then you would be the only person on this earth and you wouldn't need people think about how important other people are to you how necessary other people are in making sure that you reach your goals and you find your purpose now Think about how you could be like that to, towards somebody else. So therefore, if you need other people and other people need you, life is not just about you. You have to be able to help others. You have to be able to give back because what you put out into the world is what you're going to get back from other people. And at some point, you're going to need other people, right? So it can't just be about you because in some way, you're always going to be affecting somebody's life, whether you want to or not. And if you only think about yourself, if you don't have any good relationships, and if you don't have any strong bonds with people or you're not able to make strong bonds with people and all you think about is yourself you're going to be stuck doing everything by yourself and yeah doing things by yourself is great but you have to be able to let other people help you too because i mean what's the point of learning how to build trust and having faith if you never have that opportunity with anyone so i have on cameron's sweatshirt today i hope he doesn't mind i hope you don't watch this babe because you're probably gonna be upset that I wore your shirt. It's been really hot though. It's 86 degrees right now and it's only nine o'clock. Like that's amazing. I'm really excited about it. Summertime shot is literally lit. Um, I love the summertime in Chicago because it's always so nice. It never gets past 90 degrees. So it's never, it's never unbearably hot. It's always just hot. I like it. I wanna take the doors off my Jeep really bad. a lot of content that I want to make for you guys more lifestyle related stuff and kind of out of the makeup world I just to me I feel like I'm not not that I'm not good enough to do makeup like do makeup all the time but I just the makeup world is not all that I like and so it's not all that I want to do I'm not really passionate specifically about makeup I'm passionate about beauty but I'm also passionate about just helping people in general and I love a lot more things other than just beauty stuff yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I hope that you
you guys have a wonderful day. Um, be productive, love yourself, stay true to yourself. Um, that's all. I'll see you guys in my next video.